Greetings, two bladers and two belongings. How you doing today? Uh, hope you're doing better than me, and I'm not doing too bad. So, that's good. What we have today is another mail call. Uh, I know we, we did a mail call just a couple days ago uh, for uh, Mothership videos. And he's a lovely man. He's got a lovely family. And uh, uh, I love him dearly. He's a, I mean, he's just way up there. And uh, so we got another wonderful guy. And uh, he is uh, uh, Huck 055. 01955. Yeah. And this guy, he uh he does uh he does lots of stuff. First thing he does is he takes old I mean before gas was invented, he takes chainsaws. And I mean chainsaws big as a big as a freight train sometimes. Uh, two men, three men chainsaws, what they used to uh, uh, clear the clear the world so that we could make houses and stuff. He'll take one that, that's, that's rotted down and, and people was full with it and tore out every screw. He'll make it look like new, but more importantly, he'll make it run like new. Now, any kind of a chainsaw that runs is an excellent chainsaw, but he makes 100-year-old chainsaws run like new. And they're a piece of art when he is done because he's got, it all, got them all detailed out and painted correctly and, and painted well. And uh, he does that, and he's also got a Mustang, a Fox Body Mustang, and it's got all sorts of tricks and bobbles and stuff in it. So, uh, and it's beautiful. He just got done uh, doing the front cap, the front uh, bumper fascia and, and grill works and stuff. And uh, he straightened it out. And it's hard to straighten plastic, but he's got a, an idea on how it worked, and it, it worked. He got that all painted up and, and bodied up and put it back on this Mustang, and it's beautiful again. And, uh, and it's fast. And he put all sorts of neat little doodads and stuff on it to make it fast. And uh, things that things that professional people, dragster people, would put online. So uh, don't mess with it. If you see a, a dark, a dark blue Mustang running around Canada, don't mess with it because it'll hand you it hand you a, a sore rear. Okay, so here it is. Woohoo! I had to open it because I was I was too excited to not open it. This is what he sent me. Isn't that pretty? I think that is my first foreign foreign country. Uh, license plate and it is in excellent condition here is another one just as beautiful Canada Ontario and these are these are my first plates from from uh, out of the country so I'm very proud of it very very happy to get these so, Mr. Joe, thank you very much. And I'll be sending you some stuff, too. Uh, maybe they won't be uh, bad. Maybe you can have them in, in Canada. I don't know. They're pretty proper up there. Pretty proper. That's got a little ding on it right there. Oh, fixed it. So... Thank you again, Joe. And uh, I want to thank my other buddy. He
He's in New Zealand. He's over there, and I guess they call him, the New Zealand guys, I think they call him Kiwis or something like that. And he sent me them goodies I showed you. And uh, I've been reading up on it too. So uh, it's a beautiful country. And uh, there's more of that country under the water than there is above the water. If, if the water ever uh, subsedes, subsedes, maybe that got that one right. If water ever sucks out of the way, that's a huge country. Just this far under the water. It's huge. Uh, and they're going to lay claim on it before, you know, the British attack again, maybe. Maybe they're still, maybe they're already British. Yeah, I think they're already kind of British. Like Australia. And Canada. So, uh, that's a little history lesson you might learn. But don't learn it from me because you never know what I'm thinking at one time. Uh, I guess that's a car chat. This is the dear old Harold in here. I'm still making licks on it. Sanding here and sanding there. I see a piece of, right, piece of stuff right there I gotta get off. And uh, and he's a doing very well. Uh, I, it was 60 degrees today and I was told that you can paint paint at 60 degrees. Excuse me, my nose is itching. And uh, you know, had I got this ready, I would have been, I would have tried it to paint paint because I'm it's only going to look so bad, maybe. So, uh, and uh, the rest of the week is going to be rainy. So that's probably not good to paint and then let it rain the next day. But I don't know. I'll turn the heaters on and stuff in here and see what it works. But anyway, I didn't get to do it because I, I like these little places like that. And I want to do a, a slick a slick sand all the way through it. There's some stuff in here. This has got some cool things in here that I've forgotten. Uh, that's what's fun with having more than one project. You can jump from one till you get tired of it. You can jump on the other one till you get tired of it. And uh, everything's new at the same time. So uh, I'm going to get out of here if I can. Door shuts like a glove. So let's uh, turn the viewfinder so I can see what in the world you guys are looking at. And I'll bore you a little bit more than I'll turn you loose. Uh, here's the I felt good. So I put up a little bit of this, these scraps of tin. Because look at all these leaves. They're blowing in here ruining my world. And... Uh, I can't jube on this while well, the leaves are blowing in here on it. So I'll get me some more tin, probably buy some real tin because I've used up that. And Lex Luthor's over there. Decided to try to take it apart and put some head gaskets on it. It's too good a car to, to uh, get rid of. So that's the trouble with that. And Sabrina's still here. And the neighbor's Pontiac. Lee Mans is here. Lemons, Lee Mans. And I got a couple more extra things. Let me shut this money losing thing off here. Say goodbye, Harold. Harold. All right, here we go. Mustang's still here. Oh, I'll show you what I did a couple weeks ago. I put a Mustang hood up. Now, most people can put these up in three hours, but somebody like me, it takes about three days. Then it takes you two weeks to get over it. So I'm just getting over that. And the muskrat goes in there, fits in there nicely. And my dad said, hey, I got a good deal on a, on a Nissan truck. I said, well, good. 
He said, yeah, but. He said, somebody's tuck the engine and tuck a part of it. So, here it sits. Then he bought this one because the engine has the engine in it. And it had been run over. Hi. A freight train. No, I think a, an 18 wheeler run it over. Hurt the guy up pretty good, but he's all right now. He got over it. But it's got a supercharged engine. Let me show you this. I didn't know they put blowers on these goober things. Must be not be able to lift the hood now. See that blower? Huh. And this, oh, the whole top of that other engine has gone. Somebody took it off and sold it. Anyway. There's Egg. He's sitting there. But this, there's nice trucks everywhere. And this one here got hit by a deer, they said. A deer what? Not a John deer, but a deer deer. And ruffled this. And then they took the engine apart, left it there. So Dad thinks I'm strong enough to put that engine in this one and throw this engine away. Which, you know, this is my dad. You don't tell him no. And it'll be exciting. Uh, got me some hosers. These go on some kind of a Crosley or Volkswagen, something. And I think that's it. I heard everybody say hallelujah. I think that's it. Yep. So, uh, if that little hut works out all right, I'll put me another one up. It'll look like the Sahara Desert with all these little huts sticking up in the air. Because I'll put my little Spitfire, Wilma, has been languishing behind the house here. Put Wilma in one of them. And that'll be good. That'll be good. Waiting on a windshield for the army truck. And here's the Crosley truck that I took to the uh, where I work at they had some kind of a little Polar Express with a little train and some other stuff that they was running around there and they asked to have this out there and they put a Christmas tree in the back and Santa Claus doing stuff all over it so took that to them let them enjoy that and uh, gee I guess that's it That's all I know of. Uh, I apologize for not being... Let me get this turned around. Let me do that one lonely farmer thing. Although I think he's got a... One of them sticks. Uh, yeah. I'm going to pick up this cup that they throw away. Apologize for not being up on on my YouTubes and stuff, watching your wonderful YouTubes for sure. But when this stuff gets hold of you, you get you get the uh, or I get the uh, don't want tos, and you don't even want to breathe. And it ain't that bad. I mean, I'm doing good. I'm not gonna t turn my toes up until the good Lord rings the bell and brings the bus down. But it sure does mess with my social, what little social life I have is yuns. I don't go places, I don't goob around on stuff. But, what, did you see my forehead? The good Lord has cleared me off a place for another face. Uh, 
so uh, I apologize for not not being like I was. I wished I was like I was because then I would be like I was. Uh, I, I still keep thinking I'll get a hold of this stuff and I'll be back like I was. Then I can look back on the way I am now and I'll say, well, that's the way I was then. And then I would be like I would be then, but not like I am now. Oh, that's a thing on the lens here. I thought I had a booger or something there. But anyway, the inside of me never changes because I love you all dearly and I miss you all dearly. It ain't because I don't want to be like I was. Let's not get into that was again. So uh, I'll do the best I can. And uh, don't fret for me because uh, you don't need to. There's lots more people, more, a lot more punier than me. And uh, if, if there was a chance for me to be puny and some little kid not be puny, man, I'd jump on it. Because uh, kids are, you know, they're special. Uh, a newborn baby, I used to think uh, that they came fresh from the Lord's lap, where he's had them on their lap. And I, you could still smell God on them until they poop and then and then it smells more like some other person anyway uh i love you all and i'm working on it trying to do better and and uh thank you noel for your beautiful wonderful presence that you give me and for huck zero 1955 thank you so much and uh i appreciate you keeping t in touch with me because who knows what happened. I mean, Skylab could fall on me. That's how my luck is. And it would be, they wouldn't have insurance, I bet. So, uh, I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful Christmas. I'll probably talk to you before Christmas and before anything else happens. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye. It's around the back. I think it's around the back on this one.